Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So the 8010 replacement liners are finally finished and they are up on the website. So I'll leave a link down below where you guys can pick some up on the site. And I just wanna do this video to give you guys a quick look at what they look like. And we'll start with uh, my own personal 8010 that I customized fully, but you can see I have the green ones installed, which I think pops really well against the, the black G10 scales, but then again, all the colors really pop really well against the black, which is why I'm a fan of the black G10 scales, but we can look at it opened up. You guys get a nice peek on the inside. And again, this just gives your 8010 some pop of color, just something different. And just to make it stand out, functions beautifully, everything works great. And one of the questions I got from you guys was, does it work on the 8010 light, which I have here? So I picked up an 8010 light and installed it on it and it does work. However, there is a slight modification you have to do to the backspacer. But really quick, just wanna show you that it does function in the 8010 light. So that is a plus. And I'll give you guys a quick peek of the red. And I really like the red. One of the ones that really surprised me was the blue one or the dark blue, but I will put a video of all the different colors up now and you guys can get a better look or idea of what they look like. So I'm gonna do that right now for you guys. Some of my favorites are the yellow, uh, the blue, the dark blue really surprised me, which I really like. And the red, I really like the red. It makes it look I don't know, a little bit more classy, kind of like a tuxedo. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but that's what it reminds me of. And I wanted to get into the 8010 light really quick because there's, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, some slight modifications you have to do to the backspacer which is made out of the same material as the handles, which is the, I believe it's GRN. So the backspacer is made out of that same plastic. And of course the, the 8010 has the G10 with the aluminum backspacer. So those, there's really no issue there. Everything works beautifully on that one. And really quick before we get into the 8010 light, I did, whoops, I did figure out a way to use the Tiffany Blue, there is a little trick on how to install these since they're a little bit thicker than the other liners. And I'm gonna make a video of how to install these liners just in case you guys haven't taken apart your 8010. And I'll show you some tricks of how I install these. Expect that video up soon. Uh, one more quick thing, I did leave two little bumps here on the back where the lanyard or access to the lanyard hole is. And I could have flattened it, but since this is my first run on a, I guess a small production level, I wanted this to kind of be, it's the signature of my first run. That's really the only thing that's left out on the shape of the liners. So keep that in mind if you guys are wondering what this little bump in the back is, or these two little bumps. But again, just wanted to keep it as a signature and just make it stand out a little bit since it is the first run, but anyways, uh, separate video on how to install these here uh, coming up after this video. So what I'm gonna do is take off the show side scale here on the 8010 light because I wanted to show you guys the, it's not really an issue, but it's just something to keep in mind if you have an 8010 light that you're wanting to put these replacement liners on. And again, depending on how the sales go, um, the next run I do will have, it's just one tiny little hole that needs to be put into the liners. Once I make that second run, if it does happen, 
I will install the little hole for the pin that basically gives strength to the backspacer or the tension spring. I'll show you here guys in just a second. So here's the inside. I'm going to take the blade out so I don't cut myself and the, the R lock here. And as you guys can see, so I'm actually just going to take this backspacer off. As you guys can see here, there, there was originally two little nubs. So there's one right there. You can see where the spot used to be right down here and then one right up here in the front. So all I did was I took a razor. So I have this little razor tool and I just cut off those nubs and you don't really end up da damaging this. And since it's plastic, it cuts off pretty easy. Obviously be careful when you're taking these nubs off. And once you remove those, everything functions beautifully. Everything works really, really well. And there is a pin that goes on this backspacer right here to give it strength when the tension bar is uh, creating that pressure to open and close the blade. But I've been using it without this little pin and it works just fine. But again, in the future, I will add this tiny, tiny little hole where it gives it that strength since a lot of pressure is put on there. And I'm gonna grab the original liner really quick, just a sec. So as you guys can see right here, there is that tiny little hole that gives that strength. But honestly, I've been using it uh, the past couple days on the 8010 Lite and it functions very, very well. It opens and closes just as it should. But again, the second run, and depending on how this first run does, I will create that little hole for the future liners. But I haven't seen any issues so far, and I think it'll be just fine. But that's just something I wanted to shed some light on for you guys, or give you guys a heads up if you plan on getting these for your 8010 light. So the people who did have questions about it, it does function, and everything is good on it. So I'm going to put this all back together and I will mention some other things here at the end of the video. So again, just really quick, wanted to mention I will be doing a how-to video of how to install these replacement liners and the trick to installing the Tiffany blue liners, if you end up purchasing this color, uh, to getting the original hardware to reach into those threaded barrels on the backspacer. So if you do end up getting these ones or the Tiffany blue ones, uh, there is a way around it. So just wanted to put your mind at ease. And with that being said, just again, wanted to mention that the 8010 light does work and function with the replacement liners. So really, really happy about that. And I'm just really, really anxious to see what you guys think of these and how the sales go. And de again, depending on the sales, we'll see where uh, this takes us. And I'm really, really hoping to uh, get that CNC down where I can create custom scales for uh, the 8010 and maybe hopefully the 4max. So we'll see what happens. But with that, again, thank you very much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.